OSHA regulators and electrical inspectors may now actually halt plant commissioning if third-party certification is not available on hoist. Our special guest, Manager of Engineering from Harrington, Chris Hess, welcome. Thank you, Alan. So, Chris, what is this third-party certification that's so very necessary? Would you talk about it? Well, third-party certification is, is a certification from an independent company, a laboratory, whose specialty it is, is reviewing the safety of electromechanical components, such as a hoist. Mm -hmm. um, we contracted with Underwriters Laboratory, one of the premier uh, third-party certifiers in the world, and uh, that's why we now have the UL label here on, the, on each of our NER and ER hoists. Proudly displayed. Yes, we are proud of it. It took a lot of work. How do you get it? Would you talk about that? Well, uh, the first thing you do is you have to give the UL or the third party certifier mm -hmm. all your design documents as well as many samples. And then what they do is they review the design. And the review of that design in, entails lots of disassembly and checking of components against standards as well as uh, putting the product through a battery of tests. Then once it's, it's passed that design review, it then has to go into a manufacturing review. So they come to your plant to check to make sure that your factory or factories are set up to produce this properly. And then once you've passed that, you're then given the green light to start producing the product. And then they're still in the picture because they show up unannounced on a quarterly basis with procedures that say exactly what they have to audit. They'll come in and audit to make sure that you're still producing the product exactly in accordance with the design that they reviewed. What does this uh, very, very stringent certification from UL mean to the end user? Well, uh, one of the main benefits is when you go and buy electrical or electromechanical equipment for your plant, uh, often you have to get a building permit or something from your local authorities, mm -hmm. and they want inspectors to come in and check the plant out before they'll allow you to turn it on. Uh, and in that electrical inspection, each, the inspector is looking at each piece of electrical equipment to make sure it's safe. If he sees a UL label, he's done. He moves on to the next piece of equipment. If he doesn't see a certification label, then he has to stop, and now you've got a problem. So if you have the NER three-phase electric hoist series from Harrington, you've got a UL approval? Yes, and on top of that, so you, you get yourself through this electrical inspection, you also get added confidence in that a third-party certifier of the level and uh, premierness of, of UL has taken this thing apart and they've attested to its electrical safety and mechanical safety. So you walk away with this added confidence and assurance in the performance and safety of this product. That's why more and more people are joining the revolution in Harrington. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure, Alan.